The way I look at decorating this house is that I'm always in a, in a constant state of upgrading. It's like a mafia, you know, my house has got its own little mafia going. And so in order for me to bring something new in, it has to really like hold up to the things that I really love and adore. My name is Windsor Smith. I'm a designer and you are here with me in my home in Mandeville Canyon, California. Well, it was certifiably the least attractive house in the neighborhood. We didn't buy it because of any great architectural provenance. It was a spec house in the mid 90s and we uh, really bought it for the land and the big trees, the giant sycamores and the north south tennis court because our kids were tennis players. We absolutely, you know, had did the largest spit and spackle that could be referenced as a spit and spackle. We um, basically took the ceilings up, we opened doorways, we had to sort of get the light to flow through this house. It was a canyon house, so the point of view was to have it to be very nestled in and a little bit on the dark side. And it was a bit of a, of a, a hamster trail. You couldn't really get from one space to the next, and for me, I just need that flow of energy. So doorways being opened and floors being ripped out, and it was pretty epic, the initial sort of sweep that we did. I think by nature, I love contrast in every aspect. I love it in terms of color, so I love you know black and white as a spine to an interior. I think then you can travel all kinds of variations of color in between. But I also like these uh, you know sort of dichotomies in, in periods and in um, styles and textures. So uh, I would say most of all, I would describe my personal space as one that's filled with like this constant dialogue of tech and um, minimalism. My favorite room in the house would have to be, that is like asking someone, what is your favorite child? Um, it has to be the kitchen because that's where all of the great storytelling has happened. Um, I'm, you know, I'm looking at it from a perspective of living because really our homes are about that. And the kitchen is sort of oddly the only room that has never even been touched, you know, like repainted. It's exactly as it was when we very first did the house. And uh, it stood the test of time. It's just a room that we all feel so good in. And there's something about the exterior of the house being that deep saturated navy and the inside being that deep saturated navy in the kitchen that just makes you feel like that's the core of the house. Mixed metals is the way to go because I think when a house has all one finish, if it's like all in nickel, um, you feel like it's just somehow styled or it's not, it doesn't feel collected over time. And I think this juxtaposition of different metals and how you introduce them and turn off of one. I have rooms that I think of as, these are the rooms that I have my gold finishes. And then I have rooms where I think of them, well, these are the rooms that I have my silver finishes. But my favorite rooms are the ones where they're both coexisting together. And um, I think it makes a very sophisticated interior. I think collections are extremely important. You know, when you talk to young designers or you talk to homeowners, first time homeowners, they always say, how do we get that lived in look? And I really believe it's about collecting. And I think, um, you know, there's beautiful interiors, there's beautiful uh, shapes and textiles, but what really makes something elevated is when you've collected things that are interesting and they're something that people are curious about and want to know why you chose that. I'm, I tend to be someone that I move collections around. I don't always group them together. I think when I started collecting things, I did that more. But I think now I, I sort of move them around. They almost become like little companions, you know, things that you want to see um, with other things. It's like what happens when you bring these, you know, ingredients together and they're kind of unsuspecting that you would put them together, but then all of a sudden you do, and the language, the, the sort of connection between them and what happens is what's, what's interesting and intriguing. I love the democratization of design. What's exciting right now is that you can find good design anywhere. Um, something I used to think that something had to have a provenance and be older and be classic in order to um, have true value. And 
The world is evolving so quickly and we're finding such great design in, in brand new items and items that aren't entirely expensive. So this idea that you can collect things that you can group together, new and old, well, that's really fun. I'm passionate about design because I I need it. I, I'm one of those creatives. I require it, um, the, the creative experience. I dream constantly. I daydream. I'm always dreaming about beautiful things. I, I can't explain it. So to be able to take those dreams and those thoughts and ideas and meld them into something uh, that, that has value, that improves someone's quality of life, um, or their living experience, that's just like the best. Like, what else can you do that's as fun?